Welcome everybody, this is Crypty Cody here. Welcome to another game development video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you guys can add a simple, uh, like, AI to the game, okay? Now, this video, this series, this sub-series, or what I guess should say, a part one, part two, of how to create an NPC from scratch. Now, if you don't know what is the name an NPC, it's just a non-playable character. Like, our player, we can move around, we can do stuff, but in, in an RPG, there's, like, uh, some people, you can talk to them, and they give some things. So, that's what uh, we'll be coding on. So, first, let's go create our basic NPC. Now, in this thing, as you can see, it has an NPC with an kinematic body, collision shape, and sprite. So, the same process goes to here, just not the animation player, because we'll be adding animation later on in this uh, like tutorial sub series. <clears throat> so, you have added your very own enemy. Now, let's take a look at this script. We have our variables over here. So as you can see, we have the player. We can say this is will be this player will be equal to our player. So it will be finding an object and it will be getting the position of that global position of that object, and they will add a force to the position. So our speed, our motion, which is our movement. So if you don't know how to do that, there is a tutorial and a distance to attack. Now this value will be de de determining hand, uh, which position or which distance we can attack. I mean which distance we can attack. Now if we, uh, as well, let me explain first. So if the enemy is closer to a specific range, so my posi the enemy's position and the player's position in a specific range will attack the uh, player now we we will not creating an enemy just an NPC okay so NPC will like join up and then he will follow him now there's a lot of things not just that so let's go and yeah that's the basic thing what it's in the in the ready function we reading we are getting the player because we need that now there's a stay function we will I will explain what is that later on now this is the main heart of a artificial intelligence now there's a lot of things going on now uh, we want some things when we move our player now I maybe made a little bit over complicated but you get the point okay so our movement vector it takes a movement vector we can just access it from here I think yeah you can just access it from here you don't need that we don't need it we I think we are not using that anyway so let me let me do that and let me not do that okay i think we are not using any movement yeah so first let me try here we have a function called follow and it takes a speed and takes a delta time now a speed is our speed and delta time is our delta time now specifically you want to make sure that we are only using the delta time parameter of any object okay now I messed that up over here. I don't know why I messed that up, but now I know what's the wrong thing. Now, I think it's been now um, good. Okay, the structure is good. So now we have our move vector. Move vector will be equal to the player's position minus position. What does that mean? Now the our move vector, which is which vector axis or which vector direction our uh, NPC will move determines by the uh, the position minus the position now why is this so let me open up paint the our player now I have terrible like drawing skills so this way and this is the player this is the enemy so we are making a distance so this is the distance this is so bad I will just call it D okay so this is the distance so we have an X and a Y oh my god we have an X and a Y right we have an X and a Y over here and we have an X and a Y over here now in this as you can see the players position minus position so our our player our player plus the D so our players position which is the vector plus D equals to this position right so we have this is the main thing so our players position 
plus d equals to the enemy's position so if we m m minus if you minus these two values we get the d if we minus these two values we get the d i hope it's clear now okay so let's go back let's go back to our thing so now we are making a velocity vector now what is this a velocity is a speed times delta you can do it or not do it it totally depends on you but I like to make everything step by step, so I'll do that. So it's times by speed times the delta time, the delta time over here. Now this is important, super important. So we delta time and we created our velocity. Now we are going to use the motion vector, which is our vector above here. Motion equals to move vector time below the velocity. Now what does that mean? The main mean is the velocity should be first, I think. Uh, no. Uh, fine okay move vector which is our vector the our distance our distance between those two vectors multiplied by velocity so make it making it much more quicker making it much quicker, not too quicker so we are multiplying with the time now what is supposed to do is just this okay just simple this it's this just this okay you can just leave it over here but I like I would like to keep it okay we done it okay now it's the main part of the main the getting the um, getting the direction getting the velocity and multiplying with that our current vector now if position the distance to this is the new method yes you will learn a new method today now our position this script is attached to an NPC so our position is the NPC position this position this position so, oh my god, oh my god, if you can, if you can hear any stupid noises, oh my god, okay, if it, like stupid people, whatever. So, the position, distance to, it means it calculates the distance between this, now, now you can say hey why I'm not using distance too because I want to make sure that you also use math in game de development because most of the engines do like I think you need support so I think a lot of engines I think you don't find distance too so it's better to use the math instead of this uh, functions so this is another type so position our current position the distance to which is the uh, function used to determine to which is what distance now this thing will return a number which will be distance with the NPC and our player is less than or equals to distance to attack so if if we are close to the uh, our player close to our player we will first look at our player now you see hey what is the global position let me explain in plain paint so the, when the game starts when the game starts over here finally so this is the our main position and when when we in the game when we move when you move this is the global position so this is the global position and this is the position okay so the, when the game starts this is our position and when we like move this is our global position so yeah that's basically it okay so that's why we don't then we'll say move and slide it means move which vector to move it's in motion hopefully you guys understand what that means and now we'll go process delta we'll just in the process we follow that then you can use physics process no problem now in the later tutorials I'll show you uh, how to use a talk now well, let's come back to the stage it's basically simple so when we are staying we're making player to know means no player existed stay where where you are no need to move that's basically it now in the talk the talk will be a little bit different so in the next video I'll still cover talk and al also animation okay see you in the next video so this is the module 2 of this video in this video uh, in this like in this part I'm gonna show you how you can uh, change your character now in the previous character tutorials I saw that you guys had some problems with the character itself so I thought to myself that why not oh my god okay
why not uh, uh, make a tutorial I mean make a section that I'll show you the how to you guys can fix that up okay so first let's take a look at it here now over here as you can see the main movement part is changed so if you are moving to the left direction just motion times vector to the left time speed remember do not uh, multiply with time dot, 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 time dot, 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 I mean delta do not multiply it by delta because it will like make it slow so I and if you see that motion equals to vector to right so if I'm going to right so we're gonna see this we're gonna say if we are going up we're gonna say the uh, and if we're going down it's gonna say, it's gonna be vector to the down times speed and in motion as you can see there's in slide we are using motion to normalize and everything is the same now as a motion we are using normalize it makes it a little bit more smoother as you can see it's smoother smoother and smoother okay so that's basically the movement of this so yeah that's what i want to show you guys